Greetings and peace be with you. On the sixth Sunday of Ordinary Time, we heard in the first reading from the book of Leviticus and in Gospel, according to Mark, of the desperate situation of those with leprosy. There was great pain, physical pain, and social, emotional, and spiritual suffering that came along with leprosy. In the Gospel, a man comes to Jesus from that situation of suffering. He comes to him from the depth of his need, the depth of his desire, and he begs the Lord, if you wish, you can make me clean. Jesus responds in a gentle way, I do will it, be made clean. The gospel also tells us something important about Jesus's emotional response. It tells us that he was moved with pity, but the verb, the Greek verb that is used is a much stronger verb than that. It refers to one's inner organs, one's inner self. It's as if Jesus was punched in the gut by the suffering of this man. He felt it so strongly and he desired to heal him. He desired to cleanse him. He desired to see him restored to the fullness of life. So he reaches out and touches him, which was against the law to touch a leper. Jesus enters into his suffering. Jesus responds to each of us in the same way in our prayers. When we come to our Lord Jesus with our deepest desires, our deepest needs, our deepest suffering, he responds with his deep desire, and his deep desire is to heal us and bring us to the fullness of life. Today, I'd like you to reflect on that idea of coming to the Lord with our deepest desires, our deepest needs, coming to him in prayer from the depth of who we are. Have we normally done that in our prayer? Do we come to the Lord with our deepest needs, our deepest desires? Have we had the experience of Jesus's deep compassion for us, his deep care for us, his desire to heal us? For our Lectio Divina this week, I have a brief passage from the Gospel according to Matthew, chapter 11, verses 28 through 30. A short reading, but one that I think is would be very fruitful for our reflection. Come to me, all you who labor and are burdened, and I will give you rest. Take my yoke upon you and learn from me, for I am meek and humble of heart and you will find rest for your souls. For my yoke is easy, my burden is light. Brothers and sisters, remember of the Lord's deep love for us and his deep desire for our thriving as human beings, for our knowledge of God's love for us, God's care for us. I pray that you experience that this week in your reflections and in your living of daily life. God bless you all.